Hey guys, Vern here, and today we're going to do a review of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Shall we begin? This movie is directed by David Yates, who also directed The Legend of Tarzan, along with a handful of the Harry Potter movies. This movie is written and produced by author J.K. Rowling, who wrote the popular series of Harry Potter. This movie stars Eddie Redmayne, who plays the role of main character Newt. I thought he did a good job playing the main character of this movie, but the leadership portion of this character needs to develop more so as to carry the movie forward. The problem was there were lulls in the movie, and you were hoping that his character would take over, but it just wasn't happening. Actually what hindered the character's development is more so the character's awkwardness. So I'm hoping as the character continues to develop, considering there's going to be more than one movie, there's actually going to be a series of movies, that we're going to see some development in regards to that character so as to carry the series forward. Another star in this movie is Dan Fogler, who plays the role of Mr. Kowalski. You'll find out early on in the movie that Mr. Kowalski's character is considered a non-mage, also known as a muggle, or someone that doesn't have any magical powers. I thought his character having no magical powers made it perfect for him to match up with the main character of the movie. All in all, I thought his character actually stole the movie. His character is actually the comedy relief and it made it very fun to watch and relatable. I actually look forward to his character development as the series goes on. Another star in this movie is Colin Farrell, who plays the role of the antagonist, Mr. Graves. I thought he did a great job, but there were a handful of moments throughout the movie where you got the feeling he was overshadowing the rest of the cast. And this is how the story goes. A British wizard visits America to study magical beasts. The character is actually very caring towards the magical beasts, and he wants to study them as much as possible to make sure to educate the magical world on what they're all about. The problem is, unfortunately, the beasts that came with him unfortunately accidentally get released into the city, and he needs to find them as soon as possible to prevent an international mishap. I thought the cinematography and the soundtracks were actually really good in this movie. You get pulled in right away. Kind of like Harry Potter, but in a new way. Coming into this movie, although it sits in the realm of Harry Potter, don't think of it as more so a magical space, but rather uh, a zookeeper who's taking care of magical beasts. I thought there were pacing issues in the movie, but all in all, it's a solid start to this new series. If I were asked to watch this movie again, I'd definitely say yes. This movie was a lot of fun to watch, and I look forward to what comes next. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Is that all you got?